can I connect the output of my cell phone to the input of a modem? Keep it simple, keep it real. Nope, not, not an option, not an option at all. Um, basically what you have is the antenna does all the hard work. So now I have a cell phone here with me and I have a, um, a RUT 360 with me, just, just, just for argument's sake. The antenna does all the work. So the antenna receives what, what's out there, brings it into the cable, cable comes through into your device. So this is the input of one device or the input to the, this, the other device. That antenna does so much of the hard work and that's really a focus that I want to move into for this channel. It's just, I cannot, I cannot um, say enough how important the quality of the antenna is in your system and the performance of the system. So this can be as fancy as you want it to be. This can be as fancy as you want it to be. If you have a bad antenna, if you have a crap antenna, you're gonna have a massive problem. If you have a good antenna, you can actually perform miracles with whatever device comes on this side. And that's why I still present the Nitec even time and again, because it's a consumer grade product. But if you have a good antenna connected to it, you're gonna have a much better picture. Sorry about that. Um, so, what, what, just lost my train of thought there. Um, putting this against this is not gonna get you any benefit because the output of this device is not any better and it doesn't add any performance to this. Having this connected to a similar antenna is going to get you the same range, same type of quality of benefit or advantage or improvement of your overall experience in terms of range and reach and all those things, but the focus is going to be different. So you want a good data, this to an external antenna. It's gonna be your best solution. Just clean, some good antenna connected to the modem. If you want predominantly voice, take this, put this in there. An antenna, doesn't have to be the same antenna because you don't need MIMO, you only need one antenna, connected to the input of the cell phone. And if you want data and you want voice, gets a bit tricky there because um, there, were, there is an idea with the splitter and so forth. I'm not really a big fan of it. I know we had it on our website, but I'm not a big fan of it at all. So I think you just have to decide is it voice or is it data? But that gets to another discussion that um, hopefully as we evolve into better models of the amplifiers that, that, that will be less of a concern that we need to discuss too. But these two devices working next to each other in parallel, it gets messy. You get issues. We've had many customers who say, well, actually the cell phone seems to cause trouble with my internet performance, or when I actually use this, this is my receiver and I connect and then this is somewhere else and I'm receiving the output of the cell phone. It gets all messy. Um, but absolutely, cabled connection from year to year, not an option. Do not do that because that's just going to cause problems. You may even actually um, damage your input of this device. So that's not an option. I think it's you select Either I use my cell phone because I predominantly want to have voice and being connected, or I want to use data, then I use this device connected to an antenna. Keep it simple, keep the two separate. Think which one is more important to you. Of course, with Wi-Fi calling, even if you just have a, a modem, the Wi-Fi connection, which is an internet connection, gets your phone also connected to the cellular network. So you might as well have a phone that's already connected to, um, to the network and can be um, reached as is. So, I think that's, that's a long version of a short answer. Don't connect the cell phone direct to a modem. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Um, I'll try to make more of this type of contact in the um, next year. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.